so, so I wanted to quit three times in my career. Really? The first year was um, with Heath, Heath Schroyer at BYU. I was, uh, I was newly, maybe a sophomore at BYU, and I was so tired. Missionary feet, dipping them, dipping them in Epsom salt, skin falling off, legs were killing me. I was done. Like I, I was, I was done. I told my wife, babe, I can't, I can't do this. She's like, you, look, it's your choice, but you committed. You commit at least finish the year out. And I was mentally, you know, done. And and she said, just finish the year out. Finish the year out. Never thought about quitting again at BYU. Yeah. Get to the NBA. NBA is tough. I mean, the environment's tough. The people are tough. I'm not playing very well. I broke my foot. I'm, I'm in a I'm in a in a brace. I'm not playing really well. I said, I call my dad. I'm done. I can make money doing something else. And he's kind of like, well, you're making pretty good money for a <laughs> first year. That's what dads <laughs> do. It's now, son, think of this through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might want to think this. Go ahead, keep talking. So you know, and um, and says you know, might want to want to think this through. Might want to might want to commit. And and you signed a contract. You got a responsibility. This is a job, and it was you know you need to do your best. And third was at Spain. The first year in Spain, I played for a guy named Dusko, and I, I practiced so much, overtrained so much that my right calf turned black. I broke every muscle in my calf, mm. and um, I hated it hated running in the mountains and training and and again i told my wife babe i think i'm done i'll go do something else and again credit goes to her you know she's like you know kind of suck it up bro you got other teammates that have been here five years can't be that hard you know maybe because you came from the soft nba or something this is you know europe's tough and and uh it's okay so you know these people not allowing me to quit but instead validating me and, and sustaining me and even kind of inspiring me to stay in it uh, absolutely changed my life. That's awesome. So people come on the show and they always tell us these stories, Travis, which, um, you know, Mark Wilson was on with us. I, you remember the great Mark Wilson, for, you know, first round oh, yeah. draft pick of the Oakland Raiders. Mark was telling us the time he went into Lavelle Edwards' office and quit. And Lavelle talked him out of it. And then he yep. came back and, uh, and uh, ended up being first round draft pick. So yeah. I think we all have to have somebody that, that validates us and tells us, no, you can keep doing this when we, when we come across that's, that's, those are great stories. We appreciate that.